to open it up, go over to Inserts, down to Plugin, over to Modulation, go over to Multicores. Alright, so I already have the effect open. More or less, this plugin creates extra vocals around your pre existing vocal tapes to give the track the presence of back end vocals. Now, unfortunately, I'm not a vocalist, so this horrible voc vocal take I did quickly is just going to have to do for this example. Now, let's listen to it dry without any of the effect. Hey, hey, hey. Alright, now I'm going to unbypass the effect to a quick, just a quick little thing that I set it up to. Let's give that a listen. Hey, hey, hey. Alright, you can hear the presence of the vocals. Now, of course, you can change that around. Here in the mitts, that means how much of the mitts is the background vocals. Go down to zero. Hey. It's not in the mitts at all. But then if you go over to 100, hey. it's, only, it's only the simulated vocals that were put in by the plugin. So that's that. And you got your low cut to cut out low frequencies if you want. You got your frequency rate you can move around. Then the depth of the different vocals if you want to mess with that. Then the width. Then the pre-delay. That, that, that shows how delayed the simulated vocals are going to be after, after your vocal. Whereas if you put it down to zero... The, vo the simulated vocals are going to come on right as your recorded vocal is. Hey, hey. Skinny here, they're right in sync. Whereas if you bring it way down, hey, hey. can you hear the delay in that? You can also change the simulated vocals between sine waves and triangular waves just by moving that. And then over here for the voices, you can choose how many simulated voices you want. You have choices between three, four, and six.